that's it for now. And I'm sure we're missing a bunch of indies and all sorts of fun stuff in there. Uh, hey, Harry Viking, what's up, man? All right, let's get going. I'm gonna I want to get some good time in this this afternoon. Okay, so so far we've evacuated uh, the elves, the excavation, the volcano city. Oh, that's right. We're just we're just about to go talk to Sven, I think, right? Yeah. Why was I back there? Uh, what do we do now? Aid in the evacuate. Oh, assist Regent Kin Sven. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. All right, let's go. Did I add Stalker 2 to the list? I did. These Can I share the list with you? Sure, here we go. Ready? Have a look, then. I'll say I'll say it one time. Here we go. Black Myth Games we are excited for for the rest of 2024. Black Myth Wukong, uh, Avowed, Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2, V Rising, Homeworld 3, Hellblade 2, Sanua's Sacrifice, Stalker 2, Frostpunk 2, No Rest for the Wicked, Elden Ring DLC, Star Wars Outlaws, Stellar Blade, Manor Lord, Final Fantasy 14 Expansion, Huey 2, Once Human, Sandland, 80s 2 Early Access if it gets here, Flintlock, Dune Awakening, Judas, Harold Halibut, Greedfall 2, and that's it for now. Some of those games will probably not be out this year, like Judas. Um, but they, I mean, they might. You know, we're gonna. Hear, we, there they're starting to come onto the scene. We have no idea. So we we'll also see. choose our next destination based yeah, on the movement of the clouds. Was Stalker two on there? Yes, yes, it was. Is that all? That's all right now. But I think I'm, I'm, most of those are not indies. And I feel like some of, uh, I mean, we've had an entire months here, full of indie sir. games. Can we really afford to carry more? So uh, there's probably a significant, significant more amount more that we don't return, have on there master. that we'll be playing. Did I feel the quake here? No, I'm, I'm further south down the east coast. Mm-hmm. Doop, 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 doop. I think that I know my way around the palace by now, which is kind of nice. Your logo is like a dope looking Pokeball. I like it. I'll take it. Hey, so buddy. you've come. I have. I'm glad to see you. Nice crown, bro. Captain Brandt has already apprised me of your proposal a full scale evacuation of the citizenry. Truth be told, I had reached the same conclusion. Awesome. So long as we cow within these walls, we must live in fear of going the way of Mel. What are your thoughts on Star Wars Outlaws? I think what I've seen from Star Wars Outlaws looks okay. I think uh, a lot of what is going to make Star Wars Outlaws special is the level design and the progression. And I haven't seen too much of either of those. What I've seen of Star Wars Outlaws looks okay. It look, I mean, it looks, it look, it's one of those things where, like, it looks fine. It doesn't inspire hype in me, but it looks totally playable. It looks great. I mean, it looks like it'll be fun to play. But I'm I'm much more concerned about what we haven't seen and how that's going to work and that kind of stuff. So uh, I am I am relatively hyped for it. But I am not, it is not like, you know, I'm not super hyped for it. Looking forward to it. Yeah. My ministers have approved the plans and I have and I hope it's great. the encampment survivors. We could use a really good Star Wars game. Aid. I mean, Star Wars Jedi was good, but, you know, I, I, I love I love games like that. So I, I hope it's something that will, you know, be really good and then we'll see more of them. The only remaining obstacle is my mother. Mm. She has set herself stubbornly against any such flight. I have tried to make her see reason, but of late she has taken to shutting herself in her chambers. So with everything we have, we can't just like, just we never really dealt with her, did we? However... I fear that my position permits me to entertain her fancy no longer. Oh my. I must put the needs of the common folk before her selfish whims. Tell him, Sven. Now, there are a few matters I must attend to before we can evacuate. And I would fain welcome your assistance. Well, do I have some good news for you. When Saber Interactive ended up with Gearbox, 
one of the things they did confirm in the flurry of news that came out with that is they are still actively working on the Coder remake. The Coder remake is alive. The Coder remake is being worked on and it is not being worked on by the, the team that had it pulled from them. It is a new team. So they are working on Coder remake and it is actually under production. It lives. That's right. Lucky gorilla. It lives. Yep. There you go. Ho hopefully that, uh, Make your day a little better, Clarksonius. <laughs> we will require several ox carts to carry the sick and aged out of the city. The aged. Might I prevail upon you to petition the merchant at the ox cart station in the west of the city for their use? Okay. You may assure him that the royal treasury will foot any and all expenses. Oh. Oh, there's lots to do. Okay, so let's see. Um... Okay, that's from Augustine. Augustine. All right, so Queen we'll stop Regent Disa hardly leaves her chambers, and all her meals come back scarcely touched. Between you and me, I fear for her health. Queen Regent Disa, between you and me, I fear for her health. Have you come to claim my life, Arisen? Well, far be it from me to deny you. Damn, this got awkward. But I shall go to the grave with a smile on my lips, for I have no regrets. All I did, I did for my darling son. So do as you will. I have no intention of begging for mercy. Ooh. An intricate curio sold by a merchant whose deals in such trinkets. Something small can be stored within the internal compartment. Ooh. Okay. So the throne and its power. I don't want to kill her. I want to kind of. I want to. I want to turn her in. I feel like we uh, we did so much to uncover the plot throughout the base game. What are you doing? Unhand me at once! Nope. God, help me! Nope. Nope. You have brought mother to me, I see. My thanks, friend. Okay. You have done me a great service. Sven. You may leave us. Now that we can speak without a door twixt us, I am confident that I can persuade her. I know, I love how we walked right by a guard and she was like, gods, help me. And he was like, yeah, I don't get paid enough for this. Just kept walking down the hall. I was on the way to my union break, ma'am. I'm very sorry, but I am not on the clock right now. You have yourself a blessed day. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> I have an ornate box. This was in Mother's room. I did wonder where it had gotten off to. Uh-oh. rut -row. But why would she... Yeah, why would she, Sven? Mm. Mother, I must beg your forgiveness. Oh. I believed that you desired to make me sovereign solely for your own benefit. Mm-hmm. But in truth, you sought to better the lot of our people. Mm. Ah, but I would have benefited. And handsomely at that. Weird. Besides, I cannot deny that I was proud. I wish to see my own son on the throne, and no other. Even so, I cannot help but feel that all of this could have been avoided. Had I only been more attentive, if I had but better known your heart, I could have shared in your burdens. 
You would not have had to suffer alone, and perhaps together we could have walked a better path. Yeah, sure, sweetie, whatever. Oh, Sven. Mother, I beg you, join the evacuation. You need not Good fall with this city. Brazen Rebel? With the 25 sub bombs. Sir! Thank you very much for the support. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Welcome to the 25 new folks. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Coffee cures to you. Tink. All right, let's go. I would not see you take your crimes wholly on your own shoulders. That weight is as much mine to bear as tis yours. Mm. My son, you truly would make a fine and goodly ruler. Which is why it pains me so much that I must end you, Stab. Game of Thrones, season. Your kindness will save <clears throat> many lives. Of that I have no doubt. Oh, well, apparently they didn't go my direction. Is that it? Great, I think we're good. All right, let's go talk to the ox cart guy. The ox cart friendo. Really? You just watched the queen get carried right by you and you're complaining about not having anything to do? Cool, cool, cool. You're super good at your job. <laughs> Most action that has ever happened in the castle while he has been a guard and he's just like, man, I wish something cool would happen. Terrible. Such peace. Rain the time. There are new stones here. Hey, I think. slow your feet! You run too fast for the <laughs> likes of me. Jin complains. Com complains so much about our running. Less of foot. I love it. He's such a whiner. What level is he? Oh, you know we could get we could get new pawns. We could. We could replace Jin if we wanted to. That could happen. It do be time. Hey, Darth. What's up, buddy? As long as I get my gold, who takes the carts is no concern of mine. It's Grace's welcome to them. We have chartered the ox carts as requested. Oh. It is a pleasant change for things to go so smoothly, eh, Master? Splendid. I, I love that they actually commented on that. It's like, whoa, nothing, nothing went wrong? Like, no harpies? No cyclops? Okay, cool. Everybody gets one, I guess. Have you visited the castle vaults now that you're sovereign? If that is your destination, we can I'm not sovereign, bro. But know that your return is eagerly awaited. I'm, I'm not sovereign. I wanted to see the world burn. Hey, Ramlethal, what's up, buddy? Smart, how am I doing? I'm doing great, dude. I am, uh, yeah, been very good games today. Had a great time with Once Human this morning. Really digging the end game of uh, of this, and um, can't wait to play more Rebirth after this. So yeah, we're we're doing well. Mother, man. I must Things beg your forgiveness. What? I believe that you desire to make me sovereign. Such in truth. Ah, but I besides, even so, if I had but you would not have had to. Oh, Mother, a weird I, sense of right I would now. not see that weight is as much. My son, your kindness will. Gonna skip. Oh, okay. Ah, you've returned. How fares your procurement of those carts? I have them. You do. My thanks. That puts paid to the last of our preparations. I will inform the citizenry forthwith. Great. Okay. So, did we do Batal? I don't think we've done Batal yet. Let's go do Batal now. Mm -mm. Lily Hayes. No, no, no. Sovereign is Sven. Sven is the Sovereign. In my world, I am the Arisen, but I am not the Sovereign. Sven is the Sovereign. I literally just got back into the world after, like, having been disappeared for a month. So, yeah, there's no... <laughs> I have nothing. 
You evacuated the people of Vernworth. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Up. Nanny. I swear to God, if Sven wants to go for a walk. Oh my. If we get back here and he's like, you know, I thought I could take a walk and clear my head. I don't know if someone to talk to. It's like, no. That, no. Stop. Oh my God. How fair you, friend. I. Would you be so kind as to hear my request? It seems to me I have yet much to learn ere I am ready to stand as leader of the Pebbles, but I shall quail from my ineptitudes no longer. I have resolved to accept my duty, and I would be honored if you would grant me some of your time as I prepare to embark on this new chapter of my life. And I could have just read this, but I handed you this letter instead. Awkward. I'm going to watch as you read it. I am grateful. Uh, nope, not taking you there. Wait, why would you... Okay, you know what? No, I am going to take him there. Why would you want to go to the middle of the woods? You're trying to evacuate your people for the end times. And you're just like, you know what? You know where I, you know where I can... You know what I could really go for right now? Some acorns. I have been waiting and for some you, pine straw. Could you take me out to the woods, please? Because that's where I would like to be. Hmm. <sighs> They ran out of VA funding? Well, I think what it is is that there, whenever you do those quests, there's a ton of different random things they can be. So I think it's just, you know, they didn't want to make a little VO for all of them because you're never going to see probably 90% of them. The escort quests are actually kind of rare. What if he has feelings for you? Bro, Sven is like 15. No. Get your mind out of the gutter. He's a kid. Come on now. Jeez. Is he too far away? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sven, well. to me. I shall return. Sven! To me! Did we lose him? I think we lost him. Did he die? Wait. Sven. You were oh, there he is. <laughs> this is so awkward. I love it. Oh my god, dude. Come on, Sven. As a matter of fact. Go on. Um. All right. Good talk. Uh, can I get there from here? Oh, I don't know if... Oh, I think we, I think this connects. I'm pretty sure that connects. Let's go see. As soon as we're done with this, we're going to warp over to Batal, finish that, and then I think we're just... I think that's it. After we do the, do the Batal excavation, I think we just follow the main story. Is that the last one, by the way? We've done... Elves, Vermund, Excavation, Volcano Island. Is Batal the last one? Like after Batal is is that is that it? This wound is proof of my negligence. I shan't let it harm you. Yeah. We were battle ready when they found us. This shan't take long. Of course. Boom. Whoa, what is this thing? Oh. 
Ow. Ow. Help. 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 <laughs> Jeez. we go dare i say it we trounced our foe well and true well i'm sure there's still room for improvement that's not the path is it oh god that's like a cross there avoid flame oh, no. at any cost arisen you could have been doused in oil certainly arisen how might i do a base? Am I done with Yakuza? Nope. We have more side content to do. Uh, shoot. Shoot. I think he's done. And stuck. before I forget, is your pack not overburdensome? You carry so much, I worry for your poor spine. Damn, that much. Allow any further harm to come to you. What's Ben? I knew you would prevail, Master. People like that will be done here soon enough. Outstanding. Oh. Oh, that's a badass class that is using? Dude, this class is awesome. I have played pretty much every class, and this is definitely the one that I feel is is the most kind of straight up enjoyable. Okay, let's see if we can bring Sven down to. We have here. found the material. Will you different get in here, combinations Sven? Combinations of materials result in different creations. Come on, man, you got this. Come on down, my man. There we go. Great. Okay. Ought fell from the beast as it breathed its last. They're just gone over there, I guess. <laughs> oh, Lord. That was a skillful bit of memory. You do your vocation proud. Ah, how do you like that? You wanted to come into this cave? What? Why? Maybe he wants to be on top of it. This doesn't make any sense. Why would he want to be in this cave? Ew. Whoa, buddy. Okay. Strike fast and true, and our quarry shall fall. Uh, what quarry? Thank you. Oh, there we go. You did want to be in here. I promise you this, my friend. Whatever comes, I shall stand firm, no matter 
how trying the circumstance or how difficult the decision I may face, I shall think of you and rise them to meet with rise to meet them with courage. My thanks. Will this suffice as a reward? Do not give me flowers, kid. Oh, that's weird. Okay, anyway. Uh, so let's go to here. So Batal to do. Yep. Oh. Is this game good? Yes. Oh. Nice game stuff. <clears throat> Creature's corpse will serve us well. Go right ahead. The arisen has been drenched. No, game is game is fantastic. It's a it's a really really good open world RPG. It's a very good sandbox RPG. Hmm. I would actually argue that like this game and Outward are probably some of the best open world RPGs we've gotten in a long time. Hmm. I will protect you. Which means you can imagine how I feel about Outward 2's announcement recently. Oh, Jith. Congrats on 11 years. Thank you, Can Blink. Thank you. You consider Elden Ring an open world RPG? I mean, Souls, Souls like games a lot of times are at least semi open world or open world. During my time with Lord um, Mazes, I found myself. I would say a game like Elden Ring, I would say is is my mind was mostly falls unfair. under the open world. I Technically it'd be semi open faster. world, but it's it's mostly an open world. Yeah. Full glad I am that we have been reunited. There are giant regions of open well, of, of not these Elden Ring that you can't get to until you like move through the story and kill certain bosses though. Which is, of where it's a little arguable, together. it's more semi than anything, but even then, I mean ninety percent of the world can get to at the very beginning. So which is pretty freaking impressive. Uh, do we need to do anything while we're here? I don't think so. I think we can just go right to the thing and do that. Yeah. I don't know if there's any more quests we have to do. I don't think there are. What's the difference between semi-open world and open world? So the the classical definition of those is that in a in a semi-open world You've game. You've pushed your luck that? too far. Uh, time out. I'll not take that from you. Pray calm yourself, oh, Manila. people. I will have none of this squabbling. All right, super quick. So the, the premise between an open world and semi-open world, or lit, as opposed to linear, semi-open world is generally large sandbox areas, but you need to do main story things to move between them. So, for instance, uh, Witcher 3 is a good example of this. Funny enough, by the classical definition, Witcher 3 is actually a semi-open world game not an open world game. Why is that? That's because the giant region you start in, you actually can't go out of that region until you do the main story. And then once you get to the next region, if you want to go to Skellige, you got to do a bunch of stuff there before you can just truck your ass over. I'm pretty sure you can. I know the, the first two do. Maybe you can go right to Skellige. But the point is, is that the general definition of open world is that when the game starts, outside of like maybe a small tutorial area, you have pretty much full access to everything. A good example of true open world is like Skyrim. The only areas of Skyrim you can't get to after you get off that cart is like little tiny areas that are just, you know, like the end story area or the mid story area. But 95% of the world is completely open to you when it begins. Um, somebody said Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is a semi-open world RPG um, because there are big areas to explore, but you move through them linearly. So, you know, anyway, not that anyone asked. Well, one person did, but not that most of you asked. That's my designation between those two terms. Um, of course, just like a lot of terms, they're kind of open to interpretation in a lot of ways, but that's my definition of them. Yeah. Is cyberpunk open world? Uh, yes. Cyberpunk 2077 is a mostly open, is like 90 plus percent open world. You start in front of your apartment, and at that point, you really can go pretty much everywhere. Um, I mean, you could you could go downstairs, steal a, from your apartment, steal a car, and literally drive around the entire open map. Uh, of course, there's areas that are behind 
story elements and side quests and things like that, but that, that stuff generally doesn't count. Um, you're talking about the main play area being open. So, Tarquinia says, no, you can't. Uh, is that not how Cyberpunk works? Start the game. You can. I thought you started near or in your apartment. Well, after the tutorial region, of course. Yeah. Oh, we 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 generally don't count tutorials and like very small starting areas. The 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 idea when you say if it's an open world or same open world, you're talking about the main part of the game, not like the first twenty five minutes and stuff like that. That's that's generally not factored in. So Manella, you don't understand. This scoundrel's the one who started it. No, you don't understand. This is no time for the people of Batal to be quarreling amongst themselves. Would that make real life semi-open world? I mean, you could argue that, yeah, in some ways. <laughs> Not, well, yeah, no, it depends on where you are, really. We shan't weather this calamity yeah. unless we can recall our common purpose and unite our efforts towards it. I mean, you live in a small country... And it requires documentation to leave that small country. And for some reason, you can't get that documentation. That's that's not really open world, is it? <laughs> so, like, if you don't have your passport and your visa, I mean, yeah. yeah. But I also don't want to blow your mind. Real, real life is also kind of pay to win. I mean, I know it sucks and we don't like it. But, yeah, re real life is, is it has it has a few pay to win mechanics. It does. Yeah. <laughs> 